uh, good afternoon. I'm glad that you could could make it. Um, we've had a very good morning session and a roundtable afterwards. Let me share with you uh, my perspective uh, from an ethical basis. Uh, ethical behavior is not a set of norms or rules, although we can abide by those, but it's, it's part of who we are. It's our foundation for, for action, for decisions, for choices that we all need to make. And I like to look at people <clears throat> from a holistic perspective, meaning that, yeah, we deal with the action, we deal with the theory, we deal with the application, and at the same time, we are comprehensive as people. I see ethical behavior, convictions, morality, as uh, a spiritually driven perspective meaning that the essence of who I am involves ethics. It's not a issue where I have to study the norms and the realities, but I have to look at myself. And I teach my students the same thing. I need to know who I am. I need to know my values. I need to know the values of their culture, of your culture, of my culture. And then I am able to communicate with those individuals because we learn who each other are and what we are about. My sense of, of ethical behavior and deportment is often wrapped up in what I call Native American philosophy because that's part of my ethnicity that I celebrate. It's about balance and harmony. And the balance and harmony is about being in balance and good relationships with the people that I interact with, that I teach, that I love, that I communicate with, that I work with, my community, the natural world, the systems that we are a part of. If I am in balance and I am harmonious in my life, I will be the same with you because you will have the space to be free. You will have the opportunity to be who you are and to develop yourselves ethically, morally, personally, educationally, socially, spiritually, whatever facet you choose to, to uh, focus on. But I see spirituality and my home department is human development as uh, principles that resonate together and inform decisions regarding ethical dilemmas and non-ethical dilemmas. Human development is and must be examined in light of the worldview of those responsible for the nurturing and the teaching of the child once he or she enters the world. With this in mind then, arises a question of the development of ethical constructs. How one's ethical constructs emerge is through role models, learning from experiences, and being taught principles of right thinking, which emanate from the people's worldviews who raise and nurture that child. So I look at the development of ethical practice from a three-dimensional approach. I call the first analogical, which is the model or models worthy of being emulated. Think about that for a minute. Who's impressed you? Who's reached your person, your essence? That is worthy of modeling or following that model to make your choices, important choices in life. The second factor is what I call virtue. Those are the convictions the commitments, the values-based factors that we decide on, we live by, we focus on, we think about, and yet at the same time, when they're values-based, they are working in you and me at every moment. I teach my students to live intentionally, 
I teach my students to live purposefully, to live on purpose with a reason. And my people, the Native Americans, have been a disenfranchised group. I'm very sensitive to their needs when it comes to being treated ethically and morally <clears throat> from the time that they were first invaded. Thirdly, I have to introduce, and, and I, I live by this, the spiritual aspect of who I am. I have a personal relationship with my Creator that is dominant in my life. But it doesn't close people out. The boundaries are not there. Spiritually, we all need to find out who we are to the essence of our, of our being. But spiritually, it's our essence, it's the habits of the heart as well as the mind. Perceptions, dispositions, identity. As we learn more about ourselves, we learn where we're vulnerable in making ethical choices, and we learn where our strengths are in making eth ethical decisions. And I guess I would just close with this, that we have a responsibility to treat, respect, value any person who comes into my path. They do not come into my path by chance. I believe it's by design. And I need to create a space for them and a place for them to be who they are so that we can deal with these issues together. Thank you.